Welcome, listeners, to the We On podcast. Okay, imagine this picture. Earth, but maybe not as you know it. We're talking uh, 700 million years ago or so. Right. And the whole planet is just frozen, covered in ice. Literally pole to pole. Glaciers reaching the equator. It's, uh, yeah, the snowball Earth idea. Exactly, snowball Earth. And for ages, scientists were kind of scratching their heads, weren't they? Like, how does that even happen? Absolutely. It's been a huge puzzle. What could possibly trigger such an extreme global freeze? Well, that's what we're getting into today, because some relatively recent research might just have cracked it. Mm -hmm. There's some fascinating work from geologists, uh, Australian geologists, actually. From the University of Sydney, yeah. That's the one. And their findings point towards, well, volcanoes, or rather a lack of volcanic activity. Okay, wait. So fewer eruptions, how does that work? Well, volcanoes pump out carbon dioxide, yeah. CO2, right? Yeah. That's a greenhouse gas that keeps the planet warm. Uh-huh, like a planetary thermostat. Exactly. So the research suggests there was this period where volcanic CO2 emissions dropped really, really low, historically low, like turning that thermostat way, way down. Wow. OK, so the planet lost its main heat source. A huge chunk of it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But uh, that wasn't the whole story. There was a sort of double hit. Oh, uh, what else was going on? At the same time, you had these massive fields of volcanic rock, especially in what's now Canada. OK. And when those kinds of rocks weather, you know, break down chemically, they actually pull CO2 out of the atmosphere. Ah, so less CO2 going in from volcanoes and more getting sucked out by rocks. Precisely. It's like the planet was actively scrubbing the remaining CO2 from its own air. That's incredible. And this all happened during what they call the Sturtian glaciation. That's right, the Sturtian. Eh. We're talking uh, 717 down to about 660 million years ago. Way, way before dinosaurs, even before complex land plants. And this wasn't just a quick freeze, was it? Not at all. Uh, That's maybe the most baffling part. This ice age lasted something like 57 million years. 57 million. That's just mind-boggling. It really is. And figuring that out, connecting the low volcanoes and the rock weathering, involves some pretty complex computer modeling. Yeah. You know, trying to piece together the Earth's systems back then. So pulling it all together, the main takeaway is the snowball Earth wasn't just bad luck. It was this specific combination. Yeah, it seems like it. This perfect storm of low volcanic CO2 output and then enhanced CO2 drawdown from weathering these specific rocks. A geological one-two punch that sent the climate over the edge. Pretty much. It really highlights how interconnected everything is. It does. It makes you think, doesn't it, about the Earth's climate balance. How seemingly slow geological changes can, you know, lead to these absolutely dramatic global shifts. A delicate balance. Definitely. Uh, a reminder that these massive Earth systems, while powerful, can be tipped in unexpected ways. A truly fascinating look at our planet's deep past Stay tuned for more such intriguing stories to come.